let's set up an application that will save our inventory of products. The first table we'll add is a list of products. Let's add our suppliers table. Let's also create a categories table with ID and name. Let's link our supplier and category ID foreign keys. Let's go ahead and save this diagram. Next, let's go ahead and create the application using Code on Time App Generator. Let's create a project called Cafeteria. Let's press next to connect to our database. Once the connection is configured, we'll need to create a few models. First, we'll start with products. Notice that the products model is already pre-configured with the foreign keys connecting to the relevant tables. The first required string field is configured as an alias. This alias is used as the display value for the lookup. Let's sort it by product name and save. Next, let's do categories. Categories will be sorted by category name. The supplier will be sorted by name as well. Let's proceed to generate the application. When the application starts, we'll have access to all the relevant pages. Let's go ahead and insert a few products. There are no suppliers in our database, so let's go ahead and create a new one. Let's upload a picture. Our two products have been inserted. We can navigate to the suppliers page to view our list of suppliers. We would also like to display products associated with each supplier on the supplier form. In the app generator, let's open the project designer. Under the controllers tab, Let's drag and drop the products controller onto suppliers. 
This will create a data view field. We'll bind this field onto edit form one and create form one. And let's browse our changes. Let's take a look at our suppliers. We can now view a list of products associated with each supplier. I would now like to bring my app to the web and my users' mobile devices. In order to do this, I will need a membership management system. Let's keep track of users and roles for our application in our database. We'll add the users table first. ahead and save the diagram. We need to configure our membership system. Select the project name and select refresh. This will integrate the latest changes to the database schema. Next, let's go ahead and edit our membership and authentication settings. and enable custom membership. I will go ahead and paste in our configuration. This configuration defines the users table to be containing our users with the columns user ID, username, password, and email. These columns will be handled as required by our membership provider. We'll also have a roles table with role ID and name, as well as the user roles table to combine the two. Let's go ahead and press finish. We'll need to refresh one more time to ensure that our membership changes are integrated into the application. We can see that an additional My Profile controller has been added. This controller contains all the default forms and actions required for login. Let's proceed to generate the app. Our application now has a membership system and will not grant us to the data pages until we sign in. Two default user accounts have been added we'll go ahead and sign in using the administrative default account. We now have access to our data pages. We're now ready to publish our application to the web to allow any user with a web browser or using the Cloud on Time native client to access our application. Under the project configuration, select Publish and select Azure. I have already configured an app service to publish this application too. I'll go ahead and select it and go ahead and publish to Azure.
we can now access our app from the web. Any user can point the URL of their web browser to our application to access it. However, I would like to install it in Cloud on Time on my Mac and my iPad. Under the Publish settings of our project, we can use either the URL or the QR code to access our application. On my iPad, I will go ahead and start the Cloud on Time app and press Connect. I'll go ahead and press Scan QR code. We can see that it's discovered our application. We'll need to log in.